Dad's greasy hair oil and Mum's silky face cream. Time to test out my latest gold fast oil, Nasha. This, Dennis. Uh oh, time for some amateur dramatics, Nasha. <laughs> Wait until I tell your father. Mmm, pizza would be great, Mum. What? What? What's Dennis been up to now, Sergeant Slipper? Well, he uh, he, uh, he, uh, he ran over my Woof. foot and. Uh... Nasha, you know Dad doesn't like you eating out of his hat. What are you talking about, Dennis? Hmm. You know, he might have had a bit of a bump on the head. You think? Uh, maybe you should, uh, well, you should take him to the hospital for a once-over. Yes. Well, I suppose I'd better. Looks like we buffed our way out of trouble again, Nasha. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, not you, Nasha. Pets aren't allowed in hospital. Nasha! So, what do you think's wrong with Dennis, Doctor? Hmm, his um, odd behaviour could be due to his fall. It had better be. Hmm. Oh, this place is no fun. I wish Nasha was here. <laughs> Nasha! Oops! I could have sworn I... Let's get Dennis to the X-ray department. A quick scan should confirm what's going on up there. Hey, watch it! I'm not well, Mum. So, how is Dennis, Doctor? Hmm, extraordinary. It appears your son has swallowed a dog. Nasha! <coughs> Come away, Nasha. The Doctor says Dennis needs total rest. No, I just need to go home. Well, out of the question, I'm afraid. We need to keep Dennis overnight for observation. Overnight? But, but... That's fine, Doctor. Dad! You heard what the Doctor said, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Time to get you home. <laughs> now, the rules of my ward are no pets, no chocolate, no TV, no computer games and no... Fun! This place is worse than school. No complaining. You're here to get better, not to have fun. Hi, Dennis. What? Walter? Do you know Walter? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, he's quite the star in our hospital radio. Yes, I'm their best volunteer DJ. Tune in to Walter's Radio Marathon tonight. It's going to be jazz-tastic. Ciao. Oh, why didn't I just fess up and take the punishment? It couldn't have been worse than being stuck in here with DJ Walter. Now, Dennis. If you need anything, just buzz this buzzer and I'll come running. You will? Cool. Yes? Could I have some water, please? Certainly. Could you pass me a comic? What about your water? Could you... <laughs> anything else you'd like me to do before I buzz off? No, thank you. I hate this hospital! 
Pickle! <laughs> oh, hang on. Meatballs. My favourite. Here you are, Walter. Let you keep you topped up for your radio show tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Shame there's only steamed cabbage left. <laughs> Catch you later, listeners. Nasha, good to see you. <laughs> Quick, hide. <laughs> Can I go home now, Doc? No, I'm afraid you aren't going anywhere for 24 hours. But there's nothing wrong with... That is, I feel much better. Honest. Rest is what you need, and rest is what you will get. No, I need to go home. Mum and Dad will be missing me. Oh, it's so peaceful without Dennis under our feet. I've told your mother and father that you'll be under observation until we see a real improvement. Improvement? Him? <laughs> Sounds like you'll be in here a while, Dennis. <laughs> That's it! We're breaking out of here now! Hey, you! Stop! No dogs allowed! Oops! Time to go, Nasha! Stop! fit into that. You don't need to. It's a bed bath. A what? But, but, I had a bath last month. Wait! I... Whoa! Oh, that's... Freezing! No dogs allowed. Though he is still very tired, he'll need much more rest. Oh, you could say that again. Captain Yoke of the 
Princess Starship Enterprise. I have lost several crew members to a terrifying life form known as the Spoon. <gasps> What's that? It's one of them! I come in peace! No! <laughs> times have I told you, Dennis? Don't play with your food. You don't mind when Gran does it. I said, shut! Yes, well, she's only staying here until her foot gets better. That's right. Meanwhile, you don't mind looking after Harley, right, Dennis? Who's Harley? My hog. The pig. Sounds like fun to me. Can't wait to meet him, Gran. You will, when you go and feed him. Hey. Check out my glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy mistaking a hog for a hog. A what? A pig for a motorbike. Well, that's the problem with the internet. You never quite know what you're going to get. True, but if she decided to keep the pig, why didn't she buy a home for it? You know, a sty. She did try to build a sty. And dropped a brick on her foot. Meanwhile, the pig's running around all over the place. Ah! Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. You found my spares. I wondered where they were. Ta! Right, I'm off to feed Harley. There's some leftover cabbage in the kitchen. <laughs> what a pong! Make sure he's got clean water. Will do, Gran. Come on, boy! All right. Stay and keep Nipper company. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, boys. Let's see if anyone's noticed that I put salt in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Harley. Here's your swill. <laughs> oh, <my! laughs> Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. See you later, then. Bye! Oh, no! The bucket! Uh, me again, fella. Just uh, come back to get me... <laughs> that little Dennis looks at it on the floor, all up the walls and all over his face and says... Me never wanted stupid birthday cake anyway! <laughs> really? <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, that's great! There's another one! <laughs> oh, yes! Dennis was a real handful when he was a baby! Oh, hello, love! How's Harley? Oh, a bit lively, as you can see. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice in here. Oh, yeah! Gran made a pie! <laughs> Delicious! So, are you guys ready for band practice? Bring it on! Uh, isn't that my jacket? Yes, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, time for a break, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a break. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. It's probably past Harley's feeding time. Eh? Oh. OK, Gran. Come on, lads. You can give me a hand with the pig. You go, Dennis. Your friends can catch up with you. Oh. All right. Uh, see you in a bit. I haven't played one of these since... Well, I've never played one of these. But it's never too late to learn. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Oh, here's some fertiliser for your rhubarb. What? Oh, thanks, Den. Wait a minute. I thought you were... Who's playing my guitar? <laughs> wow! I see your foot's better. Uh, oh, uh, well, actually, it doesn't hurt when I do this, but if... Oh, if I just walk like this... Oh, the pain. Right. 
I thought you two were too tired to keep on rocking. Oh, we are now. Your gran has even more energy than you do, Jen. Hmm. Come on, boy. Let's go and read some comics. And there might be a doggy treat in it for you, too. <laughs> gran, what are you doing? Oi! That was the last sausage. Oh, never mind. It's pretty much done. <laughs> Gran, you shouldn't make a fire in here. You could have burnt down me treehouse. Well, I don't know about that. It took me ages to get it going in the first place. I had to use all that paper there. My comics! You said fire to... My comics! You don't need comics. I'll tell you a funny bedtime story. It's not my bedtime. Is it not? Ah, oh, well. We'll have a laugh in the morning, eh? Oh. Here, boy. Night. What? You can't stay here. This isn't a granny flat. It's my treehouse. My treehouse. Well, at least that's over with for this morning. Dennis! Your gran says don't forget to give Harley his chewable vitamin. Oh, oh, oh. Pesky pig. Smelly swine. Pot-bellied pest. No! Hi, lads. What's going on? Just tidying up. Your gran asked me to. <laughs> what are you doing, Pie Face? Running up some curtains for the treehouse. Your gran showed me how. Right, that's it. I've had enough. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. Doing there? I had to get away. Oh, I thought you were hanging out with Gran. I was. I love you, Gran. She's so funny, but she had me drumming for hours yesterday. I'm worn out. All this fun is starting to feel like hard work. Yeah, I know. And her foot is totally better. I think she's well enough to go home and look after Harley. But since she started hanging out with us in the treehouse, she doesn't want to leave. That's right. And I can't keep up with her and... She ate my pie. Not ya. Yes. The pie I saved for emergencies. <laughs> right. Heads together, lads. I've got a plan. I don't know why you've brought me back home. I was really happy in the treehouse. <laughs> This way, folks! <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, wow! You built a sky for Harley! Brilliant! Uh, careful! Mind your foot! Oh, oh! Um, actually, I think it might be getting better. Thanks, Dennis. That's okay, Gran. Do you think you're going to be able to cope all right? Harley's a bit of a handful. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to handle him. Now he's got his own place to live in. So, where is this pig, anyway? I had to ask. Clear him, please! Get off me, you stupid pig! Hey, wait a minute. I recognise that sty. Didn't it used to be my shed? Used to be, Dad. Used to be. Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we've got the treehouse to ourselves again. Wow! What's the... What's 
What's Walter up to now? With origami, you can fashion paper into objects of exquisite beauty. Objects of beauty. Hmm, good. And also give your enemies a good scare. <gasps> scare my enemies? Ha! Huh, even better! One more lesson and you will be a black belt in origami. Ha! <laughs> This is with me now. They'll feel the wrath of my flying rabbit! Not to mention my dancing giraffe! Ha! Ah! There was this big shadow on his window, like a rabbit or something. Maybe Walter's turned into a rabbit. He's always eating lettuce. Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Yeah, you did I? You know, with my origami hawk. <laughs> origami? Isn't that making flowers out of paper napkins? That's just for beginners. I do the martial arts version. I am the prince of paper, the phantom of the fold, the oligarch of origami. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care what sort of Ollie what's it you are. That stuff's for wussies. My martial art's much better. Oh, really? And which martial art would that be? It's called, um, uh, Dendo. Hi! <laughs> Very impressive. Told you! <laughs> better than your paper folding any time! A little contest then. Morning break on Thursday. Origami versus Dendo. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Most important thing in martial arts, you got to know how to fall. So, what's Dendo then, Den? I've never heard of it. Ah, yes, uh, that's because it's secret, Pie Face, known only to a select few. Well, just me, really. So, explain it to me again, Den. You reckon with this dendo, you'll be able to take on Walter in a martial arts contest? Come off it, Curly. It's Walter. I'll uh, brush up on some of the finer points. And I know just the right sparring partner. <laughs> that's, that's right, Nasha. You've got to concentrate. There's more to dendo than meets the eye. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll go easy on you. hey -ya! Look, Nasha, and anyway, you can't just jump out of the way. I've really got to fine-tune me dendo skills or I'll look like an idiot in front of Walter. All right, let's try again. Now you must prepare for the ultimate origami challenge. I'm ready, Master. First, you fold the paper like this and this. Like this and this. And then... You have created the mightiest weapon of origami. The fearsome pecking duck. Yes, I've got it. The pecking duck. Now, you truly are a black belt in origami. But remember, as the sensei has said, a little pecking is a dangerous thing. Yes. Yes, a dangerous thing. Peck, peck. <laughs> you know what, Nasha? Either you'll have to take on Walter, or I'll have to get some help. I must consult the one whose words bring light to the unenlightened, the wise one. Dennis! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Gran. Oh, no matter. What can I do for you? Well, the thing is, I've got into this martial arts contest with Walter. Enough! Favourite grandson, 
I know you have entered into a foolhardy enterprise which could put life and limb at risk. You think? Even though it's only Walter in his soppy origami? Of course! Haven't you ever had a paper cut? Oh, it can really hurt. So, listen to me carefully. To gain victory, you must harmonise with the spirit of the universe. Spirit of the universe? Yeah! You must call upon your inner strength. Inner strength, right. But most importantly, you must enter into this contest at one with the forces of nature. Forces of nature, gotcha. Come, we will consult the writings of the masters. Oh. So, favourite grandson, do you understand what you must do? Even though you will be mocked by your enemies? I understand, oh wise one. No matter what they say, I will be sure to follow the forces of nature. Very well. Go! And shut the door after you! Oh, there's a shocking draft in here! I need more time to prepare, Walter. Make the contest after school on Thursday, instead of morning break. Ha! Huh. Very well. But make sure you turn up. We don't want people thinking you're chicken, <laughs> do we? <laughs> don't worry. I'll be there. I don't get it, then. Why are you letting them get away with that? Don't worry, Pie Face. When the time of battle comes, I will be at one with the forces of nature. To water. <laughs> I've just remembered. It's time for after school club. <laughs> Come along, chaps. Looks like there's more to Dendo than I thought. Oh, that was a close thing, Den. No, it wasn't, Pie Face. I followed the way of Dendo. I was at one with the forces of nature. You mean you knew it was going to rain? Of course I did. Gran told me. There you go, Dennis. The weather forecast says it's going to rain on Thursday afternoon. All you've got to do is switch the contest to then. <laughs> Dennis, you are truly a master of Dendo. Yes, you must school us in its mystic ways. I will, Curly, and together we shall overcome the wusses of origami. Ow! Are you sure we should chuck 
chuck away the detention book, Dennis. Of course! If Mrs Creature hasn't got it, she won't know when we're in detention. And I'm in for the rest of the year. Yeah, but we're not. What are you boys doing? You know you're not allowed here. Uh, sorry, Mrs Creature. Uh, we were just looking for um, uh, uh, me old skateboard. Weren't we, Pie Face? Yeah. Here we are. Now, pay attention. Here's an important message from the mayor. Good morning, class. I am pleased to announce that Beano Town School has been chosen to test a new administration system. No more wasteful paper. Everything's been computerized. But remember, it's vital that you follow the computer's instructions to the letter. Here's my new laptop. Excellent! This memory stick holds all the information you need. Diaries, timetables, records, everything. Now, all the info has been transferred to your laptop. Amazing! Now, all we have to do is consult the computer to see what we're doing next. There. You're all set. Thank you. Did he say every bit of information's in the stick, Mrs Creature? Yes, Dennis. Including all your detentions. Plus a new one for mucking about by the bin this morning. Oh, not fair! And Curly and Pieface will be joining you. Eh? Nice one, Dennis. All afternoon in detention, thanks to you. At least you're not stuck in there forever like I am. Hey! This is the memory stick that guy had. He must have dropped it. So? So maybe we should take a little trip to the computer room. Wow! How wicked is that? It's the master program for Mrs Creature's new system. Does that mean you can delete it? Don't be daft. Why delete it when you can change it? It's time school was fun! Settle down, please. Let's see what's in store for us today. I think it's our history test this morning, Mrs Creature. Oh, it's been cancelled. Yeah! That's appalling, Mrs Creature. Walter, you heard what the mayor said. We must follow the computer's instructions exactly. Now, what else has changed? Oh, all detentions cancelled. Pies and ice cream for lunch. Oh, and there's a new rule that says pets can come to school. <laughs> so, what is our first lesson, Mrs Creature? It's... Uh, drum and bass studies. Oh! <laughs> nice one, Dennis! <laughs> yeah, even Mrs Creature's enjoying herself. Oh, this is outrageous! The school's going to the dogs! <laughs> Mrs Creature! Oh, come on, Walter! Don't be a square! What's next, Mrs. Creature? Uh, go kart racing. <laughs> I don't remember ordering all these cars. Hello? That new computer system? Are you sure you installed it correctly? Everything's, uh, different. Well, it will seem different for a while. Don't worry, just do what it says. It is foolproof. Oh, come on, Mrs Creature. You're missing all the fun. Mrs Creature, you have to stop this at once. 
She's doing what the mayor says, Walter. I think you're just trying to get her into trouble. Walter, I'm surprised at you. of those ridiculous clothes. Hide somewhere. And now hand over those sweets. Oh, genius, Walter. Ha! This is only the beginning. Someone's changed the computer program again. Where's the memory stick? I don't know. It must have fallen out of my pocket in the car race. All right, settle down, please. So... Today we have the history test we didn't have yesterday, then maths, flower arranging, and experimental jazz appreciation. And uh, what's for lunch, Mrs. Creature? Er, uh, lettuce and seaweed soup made from hand-picked Sicilian lettuce and baby Norwegian kelp. Oh. <laughs> oh, and Dennis, all your detentions are back again. Right. I should have known. I can't take much more of this. We have to get the memory stick back from Walter. And now, one of my favourites. Sleepless Night by Glass Popper Van Shriek. Right, Walter, hand it over. Catch, Bertie! Dudley! Walter! Dreams, Walter! What are you boys doing in here? Look on the bright side. At least we got rid of Walter's system. Please, Mrs. Creature. No, Walter. We're going back to the old ways and that's it. Quite right, Mrs. Creature. And as for this, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Dennis! <laughs> oh, a new amp for me guitar! Wow! Thank 
Thanks, Gran. The Super Loud 2. Special Extra Loud Edition with added loudness. Loud, then. Comes with these industrial strength earplugs. Fantastic! Let's try it out, eh? It'll have to wait, Dennis. I promised Walter we would be the test audience for his lecture. Walter? Lecture? Oh. Well, of course, the very few of us here who are as smart as I will know that the process is called photosynthesis. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed my talk on the science of flowers. Bertie, if you please. Great! Is it over? Until tomorrow at assembly, yes. This was just a dress rehearsal. You say something? Come on, Nasha. We've got a brand new amp and a world waiting to complain. Now, let their ears beg for mercy. Din -din -din! <laughs> Go bouncy castle! Sorry, B. Band practice. Got senses to assault, you know. Din -din bouncy castle now! Oh, B. <laughs> Forget it, B. Me music comes first. Now we go, Bouncy Castle. It's just not fair. I always have to give in to B. Yeah, her bottom's unbeatable. Or is it? Quick! Sooner we get our gear up into the treehouse, the better. Yes, yes. Yay, park now! Ain't gonna happen, B. <laughs> Me need windy beans. <laughs> Take my windy beans! Come on, tin makers. Let's get set up. OK, then. Ready to rock? Yeah. Just got to plug in and... Hey! Where's the volume knob? The volume knob on my amp's gone! Maybe it's invisible, then. No. I know exactly who did this. Give me that volume knob, B. Then, then, give me windy beans! No way! OK. Me hide, nubby nub. No! Oh! What? Me glad who's here, bouncy pals. <laughs> Hi, Tooth. Uh, uh, Thanks, Jakes. <laughs> OK. Got poo poo nappies. Squirty milk milk. Scary faces. <laughs> Now, me tell plan. Can't we just go and look for the volume knob? And leave the beans unprotected? No, she only needs one can. We have to let B make the first move. <laughs> ah! What was that? Yuck! Okay, lads, get the light bulb. Just give us the location of the volume knob and you can go. Okay, have it your way. Curly, bring me the soap and water. It's bath time. <gasps> Your tongue a little. 
the volume knob is, or I will give you a kiss. No! Dennis, no! I know what I'm doing, Curly. No! OK! Me tell! Me head knob is... will be your flower. <gasps> no! Good morning, children. At today's assembly, we have an extra special treat for you. Just think floral, Dennis. Now let's go check our props, Dudley. And don't think you can dodge this, Dennis. I'll be watching. Me? <laughs> Thought you were grounded. Me escape. Me sorry, Den Den. Yeah, me too, B. Me help. How? In three minutes' time, Beano Town's biggest menace will be Beano Town's biggest laughing stock. So, unless you know how to empty a school hall in under. <gasps> of course! B, your bottom can empty any room in seconds. But no beans! Yeah, they're all still in the treehouse, and Dad's boarded that up. All right, team, on stage, please. <gasps> Wait! Master, master! For Den Den! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, a spotlight and a full house. What more could one want? <laughs> Paper bag. Think I'm going to puke. So, without further ado, let us raise the curtain on... <laughs> Oopsie. Once B brings that volume knob, this new amp is finally gonna rock Beano Town! Glad you two aren't fighting now. Yeah, we're a good team. Yep, you're a sis in a million, B. B's got a nubby nub nub! Great! Where'd you hide it then? Oh, brilliant! Disgusting, but brilliant! Excuse me, but don't you think that's a little loud? Loud? Hey! Oh, no, 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 carry on. Uh, my mistake. Nine 
See, Curly, I told you Nasha had a hundred fleas. You owe me an ice cream. Oh. See you later, dear. <sighs> Can't you boys find something a bit more useful to do in the holidays? Like that nice Walter. Why? What's he doing? Good business by the look of it. Why not try today's special offer? Buy three muffins and get ten bonus points on your Walter Enterprises loyalty card. Oh, what a wonderful idea. What's your name, young man? <coughs> My card. Oh, how very, um, enterprising. Remember, the three golden rules of business. Number one, always look your best. Number two, always use pie charts. Did he say pies? Pie charts, pie face. And rule number three, the most important, always behave like a grown-up. Like a grown-up. Got it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I've been offered a very important position and I don't want to be late. <laughs> important position? What's he on about? Dennis, lunch. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm starving. Not your lunch, silly. Dad's. He left it on the kitchen table. Could you be a love and take it to his office for him? Thanks. Huh. Ah, no. Oh, how did that get there? That should be in its proper place. Hi, Dad. I brought you lunch. And uh, this is the rubber band and paper clips department. Oh, no! It's Scrim. He mustn't see you here. Quick! Ah, what's his name? There you are. I'd like to introduce your new assistant. Say hello to Walter. Walter? He's here for the summer to learn the business. Rubber bands everywhere? Well, spotted lad, you're learning fast. Masha, don't! What's that noise? Uh, uh, my tummy. <laughs> I have a bit of uh, indigestion. <sighs> mm. Come on, Walter, I'll show you the canteen. How about some lemonade? Hmm? I prefer herbal tea, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, much healthier. <laughs> Your previous system of rubber band classification was extremely inefficient, so I've reorganised them according to length, colour and elasticity. There's really no need. I've also labelled things in the office so we know what's what and whose is whose. The thing is, what's his name? It's just more efficient this way. That's it. You're supposed to be my assistant. What's more, you will address me by my proper name. It's Mr... What's his name? What's going on, eh? Why all this shouting? Uh, sorry, Mr Scrimp. How's our young work experience lad doing, eh? Fine, Mr Scrimp. Just fine. <laughs> I knew it. I predict great things for you, Walter. Well, uh, carry on, what's his name? Come on, look lively. Quality, elasticity, efficiency, herbal tea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Nasha? Walter's making Dad's life a misery. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be a different story, cos Dad will have us helping him out. My new roller clip storage system will revolutionise Dad's department. What's that doing there? Dennis, I thought I told you to... Don't worry, Dad. I'm helping. You can't help, Dennis. Not today. I'm giving a very important talk about efficiency. Trust me. I can be just as efficient as Walter. Look, I've fastened the paper clips together so you won't lose any. Thanks, Dennis, but where's the end of the chain? Walter! 
So there you are. Um, I'd like you to meet Hiram Bigbax, the head of our company. He's flown all the way from Texas to be with us for the talk. Heard a lot about you, son. Scrimp tells me you got them rubber bands licked, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. What have you got there? Paper clips, sir. Some very silly person has fastened them all together. So I'm going to undo them again. <laughs> I like you, Walter. You remind me of myself as a boy. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Scrimp, I've got it. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. That does it! I've had it with you, what's his name? From now on, you can just empty the waste paper bins. But what about the presentation? I'm leaving that to my most efficient employee, Walter! You've got to get off me dad's case, Walter. Sorry, Dennis. It's not my fault if your father is inefficient. Right, Nashi. This means war. My fellow executives, to save me dad's job, we've got to fight Walter with useless... Uh, I mean, ruthless efficiency. My business plan comprises the latest marketing strategies, fiscal projections and profit indexes, and this leaky pen, hair gel, glasses and fake moustaches. Any questions? What's an executive? I'll tell you later. Menace and company, let's go to work. There goes Walter. Time to put phase one of our business plan into action. Nasha? Yes? Phase two will be carried out in the boardroom. Let's see how Walter handles a takeover bid. When Hiram Big Box hears my speech, he'll be so impressed, he'll probably give me Mr. Squimp's job! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about the global market, with particular reference to rubber bands and paper clips. Uh, you have a question? Yes. Would you agree with me that the first rule of business is always to look your best? Because if so, <laughs> I don't think you've looked in the mirror recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, to illustrate my points, I'm going to be using pie charts. Like this one. <laughs> oh, I think you've drawn your pie chart a bit too efficiently. <laughs> Someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Oh, sorry. Forget about the pie charts and talk about uh, elasticity. Hello? Yes, what now? I've heard it said that behaving like a grown up is the most important thing in business. Is that true? Yes, it is. And interrupting people is very childish. So could you please. <laughs> Skateboarding? That's not very grown up, is it, Walter? You! And now, phase three! Run for it, lads! <laughs> oh, get this dumb kid off me! Dennis, what have you done now? Uh, got you your job back. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Big Box. Oh, uh, if there's anything I can do... You can stop hiring boys to do a man's job! Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, 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 what's his name? Where do you think you're going? There's work to do. Ah, it's great being in business. Pie face, take a letter. Dear Mum, can you hurry up with a lemonade and cake? 
get it done. I think Pie Face is in love. <laughs>